and I miss New We praise thee for thy pastoral master, thy hand of thine is worth for faithfully. The innocence of thy spirit has ascended and filled America from sea to Tulane class of 2020, I'm coming to you live from the LBC. I hope you've got your sunglasses on, and after those moving performances, your handkerchief ready. Today, we celebrate you. We celebrate your achievements, which are many. We celebrate your hard work, which is admirable and will serve you well. And we celebrate your uniqueness. After all, in 186 years, we've had lots of ceremonies and celebrations, but we've never had one quite like this. In some ways, there's never been a class more dedicated to the founding principles of our university. Tulane was born to fight a yellow fever pandemic. Today, we are all doing our part in the fight against COVID-19 in ways both large and small. Our infectious disease researchers are working on the nation's most promising treatments. Our School of Medicine is running hundreds of diagnostic tests every day, tests that will help stop the spread of the virus. We're all part of the social distancing solution. Every day we're taking steps to beat the pandemic and every day we're getting closer. But we aren't there yet and unfortunately that means we can't be physically together today. It's not what any of us wanted or planned, but this is still Tulane and this is still New Orleans. Resilience is who we are, reinvention is what we do. As the New Orleans Pelicans say, we won't bow down. We'll find a way to celebrate together, even if we have to be apart. Class of 2020, it is literally not the same here without you. Broadway and the fly are quiet. The LBC is almost empty. Even the potholes seem a little bit lonely. Once familiar places feel like another planet. But believe it or not, this strange new phase is a remarkable time 
to begin your next great adventure. John F. Kennedy famously said, the ancient Chinese used two brush strokes to write the word crisis. One brush stroke stood for danger, the other for opportunity. In a crisis, be aware of the danger, but recognize the opportunity. The danger of COVID-19 pandemic is well established, but it also offers opportunities. Right now, all across the country, people are taking the opportunity to applaud healthcare providers, food service workers, and other essential personnel, or taking the opportunity to donate life-saving plasma, or taking the opportunity to organize meal delivery for their neighbors. This crisis has given us the opportunity to help, to innovate, to care. Now is the time to seize it. Class of 2020, this is your legacy. You're not defined by fear and isolation. You're not defined, you are defined by compassion and possibility. Tulane is where you started. From here, where you go is boundless. You have the opportunity to define your values and chart a course that follows up them. You have the opportunity to serve your community. You have the opportunity to step up, to stand up for those who cannot. You have the opportunity to find the cure or prevent the next pandemic. COVID-19 is going to change the world, but you have the opportunity to decide how it changes. And I'm fully confident you will change it for the better. I'm already so proud of you and I miss you all so much, but I'm not the only one. There are so many others. Let's hear from some of them right now. Hello, class of 2020. My name is Doug Hertz, and I have the privilege and honor of serving as the chair of the Board of Administrators of Tulane University. On behalf of the board, I'd like to communicate our approval to you of the conferring of your degrees from the various schools of Tulane. And I'd like to congratulate you on your success under the most unusual of circumstances. I look forward to a big party in New Orleans with all of you. Roll wave. Dear class of 2020, you will certainly never forget this graduation, but you will always be proud of coming and graduating from a great university, Tulane. Good luck to all of you. Hello, this is Alvin Gentry of the New Orleans Pelicans. I'd just like to say congratulations to the Tulane University class of 2020. Uh, through adversity, great things are accomplished, okay? So roll wave, go get them. Hello, graduating class of uh, 2020, Tulane University students. What a time this is, huh? Um, well, what I wanna say is, believe it or not, this moment in time is defining who you will be. It is, uh, it's crazy, but you're gonna be so much stronger because of it. So uh, embrace it, go out and do good in the world. Hey, this is Willie Fritz, head football coach at Tulane. Congratulations, class of 2020. We know you're gonna do great things and represent Tulane in a first class manner. I hope you all have the opportunity to come back next year to Yeoman Stadium for a game and really celebrate. Roll wave. It's the Rudolph clan here to congratulate the class of 2020 on your graduation. I'm Richard Rudolph, class of 68, that's 1968. I'm Sabrina Rudolph, I graduated in 2015. And I'm Maya Rudolph, I graduated in 20... Oh wait, I didn't graduate from Tulane, did I? You no. did not, but you did give the commencement speech at my graduation. I did, that was really fun. We just wanted to take a moment to congratulate you. We know that now is weird. And when life presents obstacles, there's always a moment for opportunity. The good news is you're gonna be fine because if the three of us can make it, you guys can obviously do anything. Let's take it home with the second line. Yeah, babe. Roll on, Green Wave. Roll on. Congratulations, Tulane class of 2020. My name is John Baptiste, and I wanna encourage you and send you love on your journey. Please remember, you are the future. We are looking forward to all the great things you are gonna do in the world, and let's be in that number when the Saints go marching in.
Yes, indeed. Hello, graduates. I have been waiting for this moment until it's dark so that I can share with you not only my congratulations, but the fact that sometimes we have to wait. Sometimes the night takes a long time before the dawn. Sometimes we have to depend on our spirituality and our humanity and the fact that some things don't come every single day. It takes a while. So you need that kind of perseverance to see something absolutely beautiful like tonight. Hi there Tulane graduates. What an extraordinary time to be alive. As you embark on the rest of your lives, I would encourage you to adopt the perspective of an explorer. Look at your life as an epic quest, an adventure of purpose and meaning. Explorers discover opportunity where others see only obstacles. Explorers discover purpose when others see only problems. Explorers discover freedom where others see only failure. Making the world a better place has never been easy. It is a difficult yet awesome responsibility for us, the explorers. Congratulations again. Proceed triumphantly. To the Tulane class of 2020 and your families, this is Trombone Shorty sending my congratulations and best wishes for whatever comes next. Your intelligence, hard work, the sacrifice and support of your loved ones, and the time and attention of your professors got you to this graduation day. While I'm sorry you couldn't come together one final time for commencement, here's to brighter days ahead and your bright futures. And please remember, wherever you go in this life, please keep New Orleans close to your heart. What's up, Tulane? Class of 2020. Oh, I'm so excited about all the incredible things that you all are going to do in the world. And do not fret about the state that we are in right now. Because there's never been a better time for a group of individuals like all of you to go out there with full force and full belief of the American dream to do great things. People have never been more ready than they are right now. I believe in you. I'm excited for you. You've worked hard and nobody can ever take that away from you. Congratulations. And I cannot wait to celebrate you and your accomplishments. Congratulations, class of 2020. History is gonna remember you the way they remembered those in the early 1940s who went off to war and those classes of Tulane who came back after Katrina. I teach a course in the digital revolution and you're not only understanding the digital revolution, you're inventing it. Roll wave. Hi, my name is Chef Ina Compton. I'm the chef owner of Compella Pen and Bywood American Bistro here in New Orleans. I just want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. You guys made it, you worked so hard, and now you're free to go out in the world and make us proud. Congratulations to my Tulane graduates. I wish you all the best, and I wish you all a happy 2020. Congratulations, Tulane class of 2020. You did it. You made it. Now go forth and lead. Be brave. It's okay to lead. You have a great education. I know this job market is uncertain and times are scary, but you are natural born leaders. And when this is over, we're gonna let the good times roll. Les les bon temps roule. Hey Tulane, class of 2020, this is the one and only Big Fruit of the Queen Devo. Wanna wish y'all the best of luck and congratulations in these crazy times. Girl down, you already know. Hello Tulane. I have to tell you, I had so much fun visiting last year. I know it's a challenging time right now, but I also know that nothing can stop the green wave from rolling again soon. Until then, stay safe, stay well, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Tulane, class of 2020. Hey, it's Hoda Kotby. I'm in my dressing room and that's my messy closet. But I just want you to know something, graduates. I had the privilege of speaking at Tulane's graduation a couple of years ago. And I know 
that I know what's in the heart and soul of the kids at Tulane. And I just wanna say class of 2020, I am proud of you. You are about to step out into this world and take it on. And you've learned something that no graduating class before you has ever had to learn. The ability to adapt to change. And you have proven that you can do that. And if you can do that, honey, you can do anything. Tulane gave you the foundation and now you can grow. Maybe in the future, some of you guys may actually give a commencement address to another high school or college. And you'll talk about 2020 and your graduation. And you'll know how important it is to them because you didn't get a chance to have yours. You're gonna be stronger because of this and you're gonna conquer the world. And I'm gonna tell you something, we're counting on you. Happy graduation, guys. Hey, Tulane, class of 2020. This is Drew Brees here. First off, congratulations. You're graduating. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's been a heck of a journey here over the last however long it's taken you to get to this point. Um, but congratulations to you all. I know the last couple of months have been uh, really weird, really crazy. Everybody trying to find their new normal, um, navigate their way through this whole COVID-19 crisis. and. Um, just trying to come out better on the other side. And um, there's a couple things I can leave you with right now is, is first and foremost, um, adversity equals opportunity. And certainly we're facing adversity right now. Um, you individually, us as a country, um, really globally. Um, and so I hope that you all are looking at this as where is the opportunity in this adversity? Um, what role do I have in the future of this country and the world. Um, wherever there is adversity, wherever there is hard times, wherever there is failure, there is also opportunity. There's opportunities to grow. There's opportunities to find out things about yourself that maybe you didn't know. There's opportunities to maybe embark on journeys that um, you would not have done until you were put into that situation. So embrace the opportunity within this adversity. Um, the last thing is gratitude. Um, that probably goes against conventional thinking uh, when you think about a situation like this. This isn't really a circumstance where people would typically think about gratitude, but um, man, be grateful. Be grateful for all that you have. Hopefully this opportunity has given you a chance to really look around you and value the things that you have, value the relationships that you have, and the opportunities that you've been given to get to this point. Gratitude is a very powerful thing. And if you approach life in every circumstance with an attitude of gratitude, I think that that empowers you. I think it makes you wanna work harder. I think it makes you want to serve others and serve your community. And I think at the end of the day, it's gonna bring out the best in you. So always approach life looking for the opportunity in adversity and approaching it with an attitude of gratitude. Wow, what a wellspring of love and support. The world recognizes that you are the next generation of leaders. Tulane has changed you and you have forever changed Tulane and the world. I started the Heroes and Helpers Initiative to recognize the many Tulaneans on the front lines of the global fight against COVID-19. The many submissions we received have been a source of comfort and hope for a brighter, safer future. Let's take a moment to highlight a small sample of the incredible heroes and helpers from the class of 2020. First, we have Michael Antoine, who is graduating with a Master's in Homeland Security Studies, his second degree from the School of Professional Advancement. Michael serves as Deputy Director of the New Orleans Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit New Orleans, Michael worked in concert with the police chief, fire chief, and director for EMS to enforce the city's stay-at-home order. Michael and the team ensured that our first responders had the proper amount of PPPE to support and sustain the health and safety of the New Orleans community. He's a true hero, and I'm so proud to count him as a member of the Tulane family. I also want to recognize Thames, the Tulane Emergency Medical Service Group, led by 17 of our graduating seniors. 
Despite a stay-at-home order, our TEM students remained in New Orleans volunteering on 12-hour shifts in city ambulances. The resilience and compassion demonstrated by this group of graduates is extraordinary. And on behalf of the entire Tulane community, thank you, thank you. Thank you to all of the heroes and helpers in the class of 2020. Now you've heard from me and from the many friends who hold the Tulane family close to their hearts, but this is a celebration of your academic achievements. So let's turn this over to the impresario of Tulane's academic experience, our provost, Robin Foreman. Thank you, President Fitz, and congratulations, class of 2020. Today we're here to honor you for all that you've accomplished during your time at Tulane. As part of Together, connecting the class of 2020, we wanted to give you the chance to hear from your fellow graduates. We asked you to submit videos of your favorite memories, plans for the future, and how our motto, not for oneself, but for one's own, has impacted your life. And you did not disappoint. So without further ado, I will turn this over to the heart and soul of Tulane University, our students. When I got this shirt in the mail over four years ago, I never could have imagined that by coming to Tulane, I would find another family. But over those years, in the course of a JD and an MBA, that's exactly what I found. For that, I am so very grateful that I chose Tulane and that Tulane chose me. I'm grabbing my degree for the generations before me who sacrificed so much to make this day possible and who could have never imagined walking across a stage like two lanes. I'd like to thank everyone who made my 3.75 years one to remember. Class of 2020 will always be remembered as a class that graduated during a pandemic, but we did it. Now I know what it means to miss New Orleans. I know that no matter what the future brings, class of 2020 is ready for it because we are Tulaneans and we are Noah Bill. My experience at Tulane has been very eventful, from going to sporting events and cheering on my friends, to competing on the track team. I just thank God for all the experiences and the lessons learned and the friends I made here in New Orleans in the last four years. And to all the underclassmen, time goes so fast, so just make sure you make the most of it. I wanted to say I'm proud to be a part of a graduating class of so many talented, emotionally eloquent, beautiful humans inside and out. This graduating class is chock full of leaders, innovators, creatives, and entrepreneurs. And I can't wait to see what we all go forth and accomplish. I want to take this time to thank Tulane for teaching me what it means to cherish our communities and to give back as much as possible by following our motto, non sibi sage sui, not for oneself, but for one's own. I will carry this mantra with me for the rest of my life in all that I do. I think the most important lesson I have learned here is our tremendous responsibility and opportunity to care for and serve others. Whether undergrad, graduate, or professional school, Tulane students, especially the class of 2020, display high levels of emotional intelligence and humility, which reflect the best and most indescribable aspects of the community in New Orleans. Not for oneself, but for one's own, means extending a hand of friendship and mentorship to those who need it most, and envisioning the world not as it is, but as it could be. Life is unpredictable and clearly not under our design, but choosing love and light is always possible. So thank you. Thank you, New Orleans, and thank you, Tulane, for the authorship of a book I didn't know I needed. While I'm looking forward to what the future holds, I'm really just excited to return again for Crawfest and commencement, and more importantly, to just be with the class of 2020 to make up some of our missed time together. Thank you, Tulane, for everything you've done for me. Here's the class of 2020. Roll wave. And roll wave. 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 What a joy to hear from all of you. I wish I could give each of you a virtual hug. You're going to do great things. I also want to give a virtual hug to your parents and families who've been so much a part of your success. Congratulations to you as well. Now we have some incredibly talented friends who wanted to share their gifts with you, and they brought some special guests. 
let me introduce the ambassadors from New, from New Orleans rock and soul and owners of the world famous Tipitina's Galactic. Hello, Tulane's class of 2020, and hello to your families and the faculty. I'm Robert Mercurio, bass player from Galactic and also a 1994 alumnus. We as a band wanted to congratulate you all on such a huge accomplishment and also share with you a version of our song, Hey Na Na, with a little help from the Tulane community. Kick it! So if you're wondering who was in that Elvis costume, that is your esteemed Dean of Architecture in Yaki all day. I want to thank Robert and the members of Galactic, Angelica Joseph, and David Shaw from The Revivalist for coming together with such creativity, energy, and love. After all, New Orleans is the home of the jazz funeral. Even when there is loss, even when there is pain, there is always a reason to dance finding comfort in times of crisis, finding courage in the fog of fear. These lessons are gifts from Tulane in New Orleans that we take with you for the rest of your life. It's in your bloodstream, 
from every po' boy, every Mardi Gras throw, and every spontaneous second line. We are a city with a waterproof soul. We're a city that embraces the eccentric. We're a city of history and heartbreak and hope. And we're going to be here with open arms when you come back to see us again. Class of 2020, you will always remember this moment, the good, the bad, and the surreal. People all over the world are thinking of you and wishing you the best. You are already part of a global movement, and now you're just getting started. All of us at Tulane are so proud to be a part of your story, and we can't wait to honor you in person soon. Now, as you can tell by my fancy regalia, we've saved the most important part for last. Are you ready? Class of 2020, I hereby confer your degrees with all appropriate honors, rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Now you may now switch your virtual tassel to the left side of your cap. Now everyone, grab your confetti sticks and make sure you don't point at anyone. Let's end this ceremony the only way we know how. On three, we're gonna have a roll wave. Ready? One, two, three. Roll wave! Congratulations, Tulane Class of 2020.